In the late 1980s, a seismic shift occurred in the world of music, particularly in the rap industry. At the epicenter of this shift was Eric Wright, better known as Easy e a figure who would come to be known as the godfather of gangsta rap. My opinion, if Easy was still here, we would probably be working together right now, you know, and arguing about the work as we did back in the past. His story is not just one of music, but of ambition, controversy, and a transformative impact on the rap scene. Easy es journey began on the streets of Compton, a city marked by violence and struggle, yet rich in cultural and musical innovation. I would say we would probably still be doing that, but at the same time, getting the work done and probably doing something amazing. Yeah, I feel like, you know, Eric could have his hand in something, you know, something that was fresh, you know. Uh... It was here that Easy e with his distinctive voice and unapologetic lyrics, co-founded N.W.A., a group that would challenge the norms of music and society. You know, I think he would be, you know, dibbling and dabbling in movies by now and, you know, all forms of entertainment, you know, because he was just such a visionary on. Easy es influence extended beyond his gritty lyrics. He was a visionary in the business of music, founding Ruthless Records and bringing together talents like Dr. Dre and Ice Cube. N.W.A.'s rise was meteoric, their message unfiltered, and their impact undeniable. They voiced the frustrations and realities of life in urban America, resonating with audiences worldwide. However, beneath the surface of their success lay brewing tensions, particularly between Easy e and Dr. Dre, tensions that would later escalate into one of the most notorious feuds in music history. A shiny doctor's outfit with the, the thepiscope and the whole thing and, and come up there and put on a show. You know, it haunted me later, but you know, yeah. that's, that's what we did. As we delve into this narrative, we explore not just the rise and fall of a music icon, but the complexities of relationships, the harsh realities of the music industry, and the enduring legacy of a voice that spoke from the streets of Compton to the world. In 1987, Compton Streets, known for their stark realities and vibrant culture, became the birthplace of a musical revolution. NWA, spearheaded by Easy e emerged not just as a rap group, but as a voice for the voiceless. Easy e real name Eric Wright, transitioned from his life dealer to a trailblazer in the music industry, driven by a desire to articulate the raw experiences of urban life. His collaboration with Dr. Dre, a DJ with a penchant for innovation, was pivotal in realizing this ambition. Dr. Dre, born Andre Young, was a master of rhythm and beats, infusing N.W.A.'s music with a sound that was both groundbreaking and resonant with the struggles and dreams of the youth in inner cities. Easy es unvarnished lyrical style perfectly complemented Dre's production, giving birth to a sound that was not only revolutionary, but deeply authentic. Their synergy was further enhanced by the addition of artists like Ice Cube and MC Ren, creating a group that would become the face of gangsta rap. Their initial album, N.W.A. and the Posse, marked their entry into the music world, but it was their subsequent album, Straight Outta Compton, that propelled them into the national spotlight. This album was a raw depiction of life in South Central L.A., tackling themes of police brutality, racial injustice, and the stark realities of gang life. Tracks like F the Police became anthems of defiance and sparked widespread controversy and debate. Easy es role in N.W.A. transcended performance. He was the entrepreneurial spirit behind Ruthless Records, the label responsible for launching N.W.A.'s career. His business savvy, coupled with his authenticity, played a crucial role in the group's success. However, as N.W.A.'s fame soared, internal tensions, particularly between Easy e and Dr. Dre, began to surface, foreshadowing future conflicts. The bond between Easy e and Dr. Dre, once the foundation of N.W.A.'s success, started to deteriorate as disagreements over financial and creative control emerged. Easy es unwavering loyalty to their manager, Jerry Heller, became a source of discord, with Dre and other members feeling sidelined. This discord marked the beginning of a rift that would lead to Dr. Dre's eventual departure from the group and ignite a feud that would etch their names in the annals of music history. Beyond their music, N.W.A.'s influence extended into the broader cultural landscape. They challenged societal norms and gave a voice to the frustrations and aspirations of a generation. Their unapologetic approach to music and storytelling reshaped the public's perception of rap and laid the groundwork for future artists in the genre. Easy e with his distinctive voice and streetwise persona, became an icon, embodying the spirit of rebellion and resilience. 
His lyrics, often controversial, were a reflection of his experiences and the realities of many living in impoverished urban areas. He was more than a rapper. He was a storyteller, giving voice to stories that were often ignored or silenced. Dr. Dre's production style was equally influential. His ability to blend raw beats with storytelling created a soundscape that was both powerful and poignant. His work with N.W.A. laid the foundation for his future successes and cemented his status as a pioneer in the music industry. The legacy of N.W.A. is multifaceted. They were trailblazers in music, but their impact was felt far beyond the confines of rap. They opened doors for future artists and brought attention to social issues that were often overlooked. Their music was a catalyst for conversations about race, poverty, and police brutality, conversations that continue to resonate today. As N.W.A.'s star ascended, the bond between Eazy-E and Dr. Dre, once unbreakable, began to show signs of strain. The roots of their discord were complex, intertwining creative differences, financial disputes, and external influences, all of which contributed to a growing rift within the group. The initial cracks appeared over financial disagreements. Eazy-E, as the head of Ruthless Records, was accused of financial mismanagement by Dr. Dre and other group members. They felt their contributions were undervalued and that Eazy-E, along with manager Jerry Heller, were reaping disproportionate rewards. Dr. Dre, whose production was integral to N.W.A.'s sound, felt particularly slighted, believing his creative input warranted more recognition and profit. Creative differences further fueled the fire. Dr. Dre's evolving vision for his music began to diverge from Easy es Dre sought to experiment and push boundaries, while Easy e was perceived as more conservative, wishing to maintain the formula that had brought them success. This creative tug-of-war created tension, with each artist pulling in a different direction. The involvement of Suja Knight, a former bodyguard turned music executive, added a volatile element to the already fragile situation. Knight, who co-founded Death Row Records, began to exert influence over Dr. Dre. He saw potential in Dre's production genius and persuaded him to break away from Ruthless Records. This move was seen as a betrayal by Easy e deepening the personal and professional chasm between the two. Dr. Dre's departure from N.W.A. and Ruthless Records marked the end of an era. It was not just a business decision. It was a personal affront to Easy e who had brought Dre into the fold of N.W.A. The departure was contentious, involving legal battles and bitter disputes. Easy e felt abandoned and betrayed, while Dr. Dre sought autonomy and recognition for his talents. The feud between Easy e and Dr. Dre escalated, spilling into their music. Dr. Dre's debut solo album, The Chronic, released under Death Row Records, included tracks that directly dissed Easy e In response, Easy e released his own diss tracks, most notably Real and G's, targeting Dr. Dre and his new associates at Death Row. The lyrics were scathing, personal and reflective of the deep animosity between the former friends. This public exchange of insults and disses played out in the media, with fans taking sides. The feud became a spectacle, overshadowing their musical contributions and focusing on their personal animosities. It was a war of words and music, with each artist using their platform to disparage the other. The impact of this feud was significant, not just for Easy e and Dr. Dre, but for the rap industry as a whole. It highlighted the cutthroat nature of the music business and the fragile nature of relationships within it. The feud also showcased the power of rap as a medium for personal expression and conflict resolution, albeit in a confrontational manner. As the feud continued, it took on a life of its own, becoming part of the lore of rap history. Fans and critics dissected every lyric, every beat, looking for hidden messages and insights into the relationship between Easy e and Dr. Dre. The feud became a symbol of the struggles faced by artists in the industry. Struggles for control, recognition, and respect. Despite the bitterness of their feud, the legacy of Easy e and Dr. Dre's collaboration remained intact. Their contributions to the rap genre were undeniable, and their influence was evident in the work of countless artists who followed. The music they created together continued to resonate, a testament to the power of their partnership, even as they stood divided. In the end, the feud between Easy e and Dr. Dre was more than just a series of diss tracks and legal battles. It was a reflection of the challenges faced by artists in the music industry, the complexities of friendship and business, and the enduring impact of two of the most influential figures in rap history. The feud between Easy e and Dr. Dre reached its zenith with the release of Easy es blistering diss track, Real 
and G's. This track wasn't just a song, it was a scathing retort, a defiant stand, and a pivotal moment in the history of hip-hop feuds. The song's impact was profound, resonating far beyond the confines of the rap community and into the broader cultural landscape. Real and G's was a direct response to Dr. Dre's Dre Day, which had taken jabs at Easy e Easy es comeback was fierce and unapologetic, targeting not only Dr. Dre, but also his new associates at Death Row Records, including Snoop Dogg. The lyrics were cutting, questioning Dr. Dre's authenticity and street credibility. Easy es verses were filled with venom, reflecting the deep-seated anger and betrayal he felt. The music video for Real and G's further amplified the message. Shot in the heart of Compton, it featured Easy e surrounded by his allies, showcasing his street roots and authenticity. The video was a visual representation of the track's message. Easy e was the real deal, a product of the streets, not a studio-created persona. The song's impact on the rap industry was significant. It was one of the most successful diss tracks of its time, reaching number 42 on the Billboard Hot 100 and earning a gold certification. It solidified Easy es reputation as a formidable figure in the rap world, capable of holding his own against the biggest names in the industry. Real and G's also highlighted the power of rap as a medium for personal expression and conflict. The feud between Easy e and Dr. Dre was playing out in the public domain, with each artist using their music to communicate their side of the story. The track was a testament to the raw, unfiltered nature of rap, where artists could speak their truth without censorship or restraint. The song's cultural impact extended beyond the feud itself. It became an anthem for authenticity in the rap industry, a call to remain true to one's roots and experiences. Easy es message resonated with fans who valued real-life experiences and credibility in their rap icons. However, the feud and the track also had a darker side. They highlighted the divisive nature of the rap industry, where conflicts could escalate into public battles and personal attacks. The feud between Easy e and Dr. Dre was more than just a war of words. It was a reflection of the competitive and often harsh reality of the music business. Despite the animosity expressed in the track, real and G's also served as a reminder of the talent and impact of both Easy e and Dr. Dre. Their contributions to the rap genre were undeniable, and their feud, while bitter, was a part of their larger narrative as pioneers and influencers in the industry. As the feud continued, it became a part of the lore of hip-hop, a story of rivalry, creativity, and the complexities of fame. The track, Real and G's, stood as a powerful symbol of this period in rap history, a period marked by intense competition, raw expression, and the emergence of rap as a dominant force in the music industry. In retrospect, the feud between Easy e and Dr. Dre, epitomized by real and G's, was a defining moment in their careers. It showcased their strengths as artists, their ability to channel personal conflicts into their music, and their influence on the evolution of rap. The track remains a significant piece of hip-hop history, a reminder of the power of words and the enduring legacy of two of the genre's most iconic figures. The feud between Easy e and Dr. Dre transcended the boundaries of the music industry, captivating public attention and shaping fan opinions. Let's delve into the public's perception of the feud, the media's portrayal of both artists, and the broader cultural implications of their rivalry. The public's reaction to the feud was a mix of fascination and division. Fans were split, with some siding with Easy e drawn to his raw authenticity and unapologetic portrayal of street life. Others aligned with Dr. Dre, attracted to his innovative production and his evolution as an artist. This division was not just about musical preference, it was a reflection of the broader societal issues that both artists represented. Easy es music spoke to the struggles of life in impoverished urban areas, while Dr. Dre's work represented a new direction in rap, blending traditional elements with new sounds and themes. The media played a significant role in shaping the narrative of the feud. Journalists and commentators dissected every lyric and public statement, often amplifying the conflict. The feud was sensationalized, with the media portraying it as a battle between two titans of the rap world. This portrayal added fuel to the fire, intensifying the rivalry and making it a topic of national conversation. The portrayal of Easy e and Dr. Dre in the media was often reductive, focusing on the sensational aspects of their feud rather than their musical contributions. Easy e was often depicted as the aggressive, street-hardened rapper, 
while Dr. Dre was portrayed as the innovative producer breaking away from his past. These portrayals, while containing elements of truth, overlooked the complexities of both artists and their impact on the music industry. Fan opinions were also influenced by the media portrayal of the feud. Fans engaged in heated debates, often taking to online forums and social media to express their views. These discussions went beyond the music, touching on issues of authenticity, artistic integrity, and the evolution of rap. The feud became a lens through which fans examined their own views on music and culture. Interestingly, the feud also sparked discussions about the role of rap in addressing social issues. Easy e and Dr. Dre, through their music and public personas, had become symbols of the struggle and aspirations of urban youth. Their feud, while personal, was also a commentary on the challenges faced by artists in the rap industry, challenges related to race, class, and artistic freedom. The cultural impact of the feud was significant. It highlighted the power of rap as a form of expression, capable of articulating complex personal and societal issues. The feud also demonstrated the influence of artists in shaping public discourse, with Easy e and Dr. Dre becoming voices for different segments of society. As the feud progressed, it became clear that it was more than just a personal disagreement between two artists. It was a reflection of the changing landscape of rap music and its role in society. The feud between Easy e and Dr. Dre was a microcosm of the broader challenges and changes occurring in the music industry and in the cultural fabric of the United States. As the feud between Easy e and Dr. Dre simmered, Easy es career and personal life entered a period of profound transformation. Now let's talk about Easy es later years, his enduring influence in the rap industry, and the tragic circumstances of his untimely death. Despite the animosity with Dr. Dre, Easy e continued to be a significant figure in the rap world. His influence extended beyond his music. He was a mentor to upcoming artists and an astute businessman. Ruthless Records, under his leadership, continued to discover and promote new talent, contributing to the evolution of the rap genre. Easy es vision for the label was not just about commercial success. It was about providing a platform for artists who, like him, had stories to tell from the margins of society. Easy es music during this period reflected a maturity and depth that came with experience. His lyrics delved into the complexities of life in the inner city, addressing themes of violence, poverty, and resilience. He remained true to his roots, using his music as a means to give voice to the voiceless. His authenticity was not just a stylistic choice, it was a reflection of his commitment to represent the realities of the world he came from. However, Easy es life took a dramatic turn in 1995 when he was diagnosed with AIDS. The diagnosis came as a shock to the music world and the public. Easy es illness and subsequent death brought attention to the AIDS epidemic, particularly in the African-American community. His diagnosis was a stark reminder of the vulnerability of even the most seemingly invincible figures. Easy es death on March 26, 1995, was a significant loss to the music industry and the community he represented. Tributes poured in from fans, fellow artists, and industry figures, all acknowledging his impact on rap music and culture. His funeral was attended by thousands, a testament to the love and respect he had garnered throughout his career. The legacy of Easy e is multifaceted. He was a pioneer in the gangsta rap genre, a visionary business leader, and a symbol of resilience in the face of adversity. His music continues to influence artists and fans, serving as a reminder of his contributions to the rap industry. Easy es story is not just one of success and struggle. It is a narrative of transformation and enduring impact. Easy es death also brought about a reconciliation of sorts with Dr. Dre. In the face of loss, past conflicts seemed less significant. Dr. Dre expressed his condolences and reflected on their shared history, acknowledging the role Easy e had played in his life and career. This moment of reflection was a reminder of the deep connections that had once united them, connections that transcended their later rivalry. In retrospect, Easy es life and career were a reflection of the complexities of the music industry and the challenges faced by artists. His journey from the streets of Compton to the heights of the music world was marked by both triumphs and trials. Easy es story is a testament to the power of music to transcend barriers and to the enduring impact of an artist who remained true to himself and his roots. Easy es influence extends beyond his music. He is remembered as a trailblazer who opened doors for future generations of artists. His legacy is not just in the records he sold or the controversies he sparked. It is in the lives he touched and the conversations he ignited. 
Easy es story is a poignant reminder of the transformative power of music and the enduring legacy of a voice that spoke truth to power. The release of the biographical film Straight Outta Compton in 2015 reignited interest in the story of N.W.A., particularly the dynamic between Easy e and Dr. Dre. Now let's examine the portrayal of these iconic figures in the film and the controversies surrounding its depiction of events and characters. Straight Outta Compton was hailed for its vivid portrayal of the rise of N.W.A., and its impact on the music industry and society. The film captured the raw energy of the group and the turbulent environment from which they emerged. However, it also sparked debates over its accuracy and the narratives it chose to emphasize or omit. One of the primary controversies centered around the portrayal of Dr. Dre critics and fans noted that the film seemed to soften some aspects of Dre's past, particularly his relationships and interactions with women. The omission of the incident involving TV host Dee Barnes, where Dr. Dre faced significant backlash for his actions, was a point of contention. Critics argued that this exclusion was an attempt to sanitize Dre's image, overlooking a critical and controversial part of his history. Easy E's portrayal in the film also raised discussions. While the film acknowledged his role as the frontman of N.W.A. and the head of Ruthless Records, some argued that it did not fully capture the complexity of his character and contributions. Easy es son, Lil Easy e expressed disappointment over the casting and portrayal of his father, suggesting that the film did not entirely do justice to Easy es legacy. The film's depiction of the feud between Easy e and Dr. Dre was another focal point. While Straight Outta Compton touched upon their falling out and subsequent reconciliation before Easy es death, some felt that it oversimplified the complexities of their relationship. The emotional depth and the nuances of their rivalry, which had a significant impact on both their careers, were perceived to be underexplored. Despite these controversies, Straight Outta Compton succeeded in bringing the story of N.W.A. and its members to a new generation. It sparked renewed interest in their music and the socio-political issues they addressed. The film became a cultural phenomenon, highlighting the enduring influence of N.W.A. and its members on music and culture. The discussions around Straight Outta Compton also highlighted the challenges of biographical storytelling, particularly in portraying complex historical figures and events. The film's narrative choices and omissions opened up conversations about historical accuracy versus artistic license and the responsibility of filmmakers in portraying real-life events and people. In retrospect, Straight Outta Compton served as both a tribute to N.W.A.'s legacy and a catalyst for critical discussions about representation and history in cinema. The film's portrayal of Easy e and Dr. Dre, while contested, brought attention to their contributions to music and their roles as cultural icons. The story of Easy e and Dr. Dre, marked by their groundbreaking contributions and intense rivalry, leaves an indelible legacy in the world of music and beyond. Finally, it's time we discuss their lasting impact, not only on the rap industry but also on popular culture and societal discourse. Easy es legacy is multifaceted. As a founding member of N.W.A., he played a crucial role in popularizing gangsta rap, bringing the realities of street life into the mainstream music narrative. His unfiltered lyrics and authentic portrayal of life in Compton resonated with audiences, offering a voice to experiences often marginalized in mainstream media. Easy es entrepreneurial spirit exemplified through the establishment of Ruthless Records, paved the way for future artists and entrepreneurs in the industry. His influence extends beyond his music. He is remembered as a pioneer who challenged societal norms and opened doors for future generations of artists. Dr. Dre's impact is equally significant. His innovative production techniques and ability to blend different musical elements revolutionized the sound of hip-hop. Dr. Dre's work with N.W.A. and his subsequent solo career set new standards in the industry, influencing influencing countless artists and producers. Beyond his musical achievements, Dr. Dre's journey from N.W.A. to becoming a mogul in the music industry is a testament to his vision, resilience, and adaptability. His legacy is not just in the albums he produced or the records he sold, but in his enduring influence on the sound and direction of hip-hop. The feud between Easy e and Dr. Dre, while marked by conflict and rivalry, also contributed to their legacies. It highlighted the competitive nature of the music industry and the complexity of artistic relationships. The public nature of their feud, played out through diss tracks and media interactions, added a new dimension to the genre. 
showcasing rap as a platform for personal expression and storytelling. The rivalry between Easy e and Dr. Dre became a part of their narrative, a reflection of their passion for their art and their unyielding pursuit of their visions. The cultural impact of Easy e and Dr. Dre extends beyond their music. They were instrumental in bringing the realities of urban America to the forefront, sparking conversations about issues such as police brutality, racial inequality, and freedom of expression. Their music became a form of social commentary, a means to challenge and provoke thought. The legacy of Easy e and Dr. Dre is evident in the ongoing discussions about the role of music in societal change and the power of artists as cultural influencers. In popular culture, the story of Easy e and Dr. Dre has been immortalized through films, documentaries, and continued media interest. Their journey from the streets of Compton to international fame is a narrative of triumph and tragedy, creativity and conflict. It is a story that continues to captivate audiences, serving as a source of inspiration and a reminder of the transformative power of music. As we reflect on the legacies of Easy e and Dr. Dre, we are reminded of the enduring impact of their music and their contributions to the rap genre. They were pioneers who broke barriers and defied expectations, leaving a lasting imprint on the music industry. Their story is not just one of success and rivalry. It is a narrative of innovation, resilience, and the enduring power of artistic expression. As we conclude this exploration into the lives and legacies of Easy e and Dr. Dre, we are left with a narrative rich in complexity, conflict, and cultural significance. Their story is not just a chronicle of rap music's evolution, but a reflection of the societal changes and challenges that shaped an era. Easy es journey from the streets of Compton to the pinnacle of the music industry is a testament to his resilience, creativity, and entrepreneurial spirit. His raw, unfiltered portrayal of life in urban America gave a voice to the voiceless and challenged societal norms. Easy es impact on the music industry extends beyond his contributions as an artist. He was a visionary who paved the way for future generations, leaving a legacy that continues to influence and inspire. Dr. Dre's evolution from a member of NWA to a global icon in the music industry is a story of innovation, adaptability, and enduring influence. His groundbreaking production techniques and ability to blend different musical elements revolutionized the sound of hip-hop. Dr. Dre's journey is a narrative of artistic growth and transformation, underscoring his role as a pioneer and influencer in the music world. The feud between Easy e and Dr. Dre, while marked by bitterness and rivalry, also played a significant role in their legacies. It showcased the power of rap as a medium for personal expression and conflict resolution, albeit in a confrontational manner. The rivalry added a new dimension to their careers, highlighting the competitive nature of the music industry and the complexities of artistic relationships. In the broader context of music history, the story of Easy e and Dr. Dre is a reminder of the transformative power of music. Their contributions to the rap genre reshaped the musical landscape, influencing not only artists, but also the societal discourse on issues such as race, class, and freedom of expression. Their narrative is a compelling blend of triumph and tragedy, creativity and conflict, serving as a source of inspiration and a reminder of the enduring impact of music on culture and society. In January 2021, the world learned of a critical moment in Dr. Dre's life when he was rushed to Cedar sinai in Los Angeles due to a suspected brain aneurysm, a potentially life-threatening condition where a blood vessel in the brain bulges or balloons, sometimes leading to rupture and bleeding in the brain. In a revealing conversation with Dolvet Quince on the Workout the Doubt podcast, Dr. Dre shared the harrowing details of his recovery journey. The initial two weeks were spent in the intensive care unit, closely monitored day and night for any signs of complications. His description painted a picture of the challenges he faced, undergoing frequent tests that resembled sobriety checks, tasks like touching his nose or rubbing his heel on his calf. The situation took a turn for the worse, with Dre's condition becoming touch and go after admission. The severity of the situation prompted the hospital to make an exception to their COVID-related visitor restrictions, allowing Dre's family to come in. Unbeknownst to Dre, his family was summoned to say their final goodbyes, a revelation that shocked the rapper when he later learned about it. I didn't know it was that serious. Seeing my mom and my sister, I didn't know. Nobody told me, he expressed, describing the experience as crazy. Reflecting on
focusing on the health scare, Dr. Dre disclosed to the Los Angeles Times in 2021 that his brain aneurysm was likely linked to high blood pressure, a condition he was unaware of before the incident. Expressing the unexpected nature of this health issue, he acknowledged the higher prevalence of hypertension among black men, emphasizing the importance of monitoring blood pressure for overall well-being. Now in a state of recovery, Dr. Dre shared his commitment to maintaining healthy blood pressure and offered a vital piece of advice to others, particularly black men, urging them to prioritize regular checkups. I think every black man should just check that out and make sure things are okay with the blood pressure, he emphasized, expressing his hope for a long and healthy life. Despite the ordeal, Dr. Dre bounced back with resilience. Just days after the aneurysm, he took to Instagram to update fans on his progress and express gratitude for the support. Back in action, he resumed work on his highly anticipated third studio album, Detox, scheduled for release in 2023. Additionally, he embarked on a meaningful venture to open a high school in South Los Angeles alongside record producer Jimmy Iovine. Through it all, Dr. Dre conveyed a sense of strength declaring on workout the doubt that he now feels stronger than ever. As we reflect on the story of Eazy-E and Dr. Dre, though, we recognize the indelible mark they have left on the world of music. Their legacy is not just in the records they produced or the controversies they sparked. It is in the lives they touched, the barriers they broke, and the conversations they ignited. That's all for the video, folks. Thanks for watching.